Lyles able to keep it in at the blue line. 34 seconds left for Cobb. To Ryan Smith, chips it off the boards and then gets flattened by John Michael Lyles. Penalty coming and maybe more as Ryan Smith is slow to get up. Ryan Smith is hurt. He has made his way to the tunnel now. He's got no weight on his on his leg as they go off. You can see John Michael Lyles. That is a knee on knee hit. Two games ago in Columbus, we saw Svitov push Schmid into the into the boards, and I said it's a stupid play. That is a stupid play. That's no regard for a player. I know it's a desperation play, but Lyles stuck out his knee, and Ryan Smith is in some distress as he goes to the locker room. There just seems to be such little respect for your opponent when players do that. I don't remember it happening 15 years ago anywhere to the degree that it happens now. John Michael Lyles is not a dirty player, but that is a that's a cheap hit. Ryan Smith. What a game he's had tonight. Two goals, one on the power play, one shorthanded. That is 28.7 seconds away from standing up as the game-winning goal. Watch when the moment of contact happens here. You're going to see Lyle's left leg stick way out. I, I just don't know what a player thinks. This is a better look at it. Watch his left leg right here. What does he think he's going to do? It's the only part of his body that is hanging out. It's not his hip where it would be a hip check and a legal play. That's a penalty that needs, that's a play that needs to be reviewed. Because Ryan Smith is now hobbled down the tunnel. It's clear he's got a left leg injury. And now what is possibly a great Euler victory now comes concern for number 94 on a play that should not have happened. The Oilers next.